Hello YouTube, this is the Political Cuttlefish here, and today I'm going to talk about uh, the Ashley Madison hacks. Now, I know I'm kind of uh, late to the party there, but for the stills, I want to talk about it, and it's only kind of t tangentially related to the hacks is what I want to talk about. So basically, for those of you who somehow missed it, uh, what happened is Ashley Madison is a site where people can go and find affairs, and... Recently, a bunch of hackers leaked a lot of data about the website and basically like sh revealed everyone who was on there. And it turned out that, that there were millions and millions of people there. So, and like a lot of people have talked about this, but what I haven't heard a lot, I'm sure I'm not the only person to address it, but what I haven't heard a lot is people really questioning the idea of marriage in society. Like, because... Because a lot of surveys show that a majority of people cheat, if not just a large segment of the population. So if if at least, like, I think a quarter is, like, some of the low estimates for amount of people who cheat. Like, if, if this, if merge isn't working for, like, so many people, then maybe we should start to question it. Like, because for a long time it seems like people say... You know, the best way to live, the best way to have a relationship is you find one person, you marry them, and you stay with them for the rest of your life. But I'm not necessarily convinced about that because you can see it's – because the fact that people cheat means it's so clearly not working for a lot of people. And if one person is enough for you, that's great. But wouldn't it be better, like, if people who – because if people who didn't – feel that they were really content with just like this one relationship felt more like they they could just kind of like say like say they want to see other people and i think it's much preferable to uh to sneaking behind someone's back to say like to be able to actually just talk things through because i mean because because it's pretty clear from like just all the data about uh, infidelity that a lot of people just, like, monogamy isn't working for them. And in and of itself, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But the problem is when people sneak behind their significant other's backs because when you have an agreement of, like, monogamy, then you basically betray that agreement. Like, you betray that commitment if you go behind their backs. But... So, I think, like, it, people who have, like, an open marriage, it's seen as, like, so, like, scandalous and, like, deviant, but I think that that should really be a lot more normal, considering that a lot of people clearly wish their marriages could be more open because they're going out and cheating, and I think it'd be much better if, instead of going out and cheating, people could say, you know, like, I, I still love you, I still care for you, because there have been surveys which show that, yeah, most people who cheat, like, they still do care a lot about the people who they're cheating on, but they just, they, they're they just, like, looking for something else, so they can say, like, you know, I still care about you, but, you know, I, I want to hang out with some other people, which, it might sound weird now, but, like, it's better than them going behind their back, so, I, I think, and with society progressing so much socially, we really need to have a conversation that maybe monogamy isn't the best thing for most people, or at least not the best thing for some people. 